And our GMA medical contributor, Dr. Marie Savard, joins us with more. Good to see you, Marie. Hi, Robin. So, well, how does this work? Well, we've long known that, and actually I think this is good news, mm -hmm. I, I do think there's a lot of interest around probiotics with doctors, but we have long known that in some way giving healthy bacteria can boost the immune system in the gut where the, a lot of the immunity originates, and it also maybe fights off or prevents the bad viruses and flu from even attaching in the first place. The study that we saw dealt with children. How about for adults? How, how beneficial is it? There's no reason to think it wouldn't work for adults as well. And actually, there have been a number of studies showing that there is benefit. Adults have a different immunity, and we are exposed and have different risks for different illnesses. But they've shown in adults it can work everything from preventing complications of antibiotics, mm -hmm. working to treat spastic colon or irritable bowel syndrome, and even working for allergies and asthma. So there's a lot, a of, lot of benefits there. Yeah, use. It's, well, it's, it's buzzy right now. When you think about it, probiotics as opposed to antibiotics. So it just makes you think that, yes, it would be something that would be beneficial for it, you. It's really about perhaps boosting your own body's immune system. There is a lot of research that needs to be done. What is the right healthy bacteria to give? How much to give? In what types of products? But there is a lot of interest. Well, we have a lot of products here, so where can we find it? Okay, you can start with yogurt. That's popular, and you have to make mm -hmm. sure you read the label to see that it adds the probiotic to it. But Stonyfield is a, is a big brand. Then you can get it into liquid form. They basically put the culture in milk. Kefir is one mm -hmm. example. There's child products yeah, out there. You can there. tell that's really geared for kids. Right, exactly. Exactly, even in jellos, and they're actually now even putting it in cereal. But again, you have to look at the labeling. And even supplements? Supplements are also available. A lot of people have tried supplements. It seems that you can put those supplements in whatever beverage or yogurt that you like, so you have a little more control over how you take it. And again, you were saying, you know, about how much. Do you know how much you should and what's, what's best? We don't really know how much, and certain bacteria might be better for certain conditions. So there may be some better for allergies, some better for colon health. Again, research needs to be done, but I think there's a lot of interest and this is just getting off the ground but it's 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 here to stay yeah. and, I, and again I think a couple quick things when you're looking for it make sure you read the labels get it from a big company okay and talk to your doctor about it before starting it because obviously it's important that you get that in feedback as well always check with the doctor all yes. right thank yes. you so much Marie. we appreciate that